Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Chaudhary Data World. From today, I'm going to start a new playlist of uh, whole Power BI. In this whole playlist, I will be teaching you uh, how to use Power BI, what all things to be done in Power BI. So let's get started. Uh, thank you so much to uh, join this video and hope you will enjoy the tutorial whatever will be in the playlist and whatever things you feel need to be improved or need need to be included just mention into the comment section so let's get started we will be covering five questions that is a very basic question regarding power bi these are very basic question which comes to any layman mind that what is power bi why should we use power bi and another one is where to use where this power bi to be used after that benefit of power bi over excel why i have considered excel only because generally some uh, when suppose some data analytics person switch to power bi or suppose some bi persons uh, just starting its career so excel is the basic or we may say that excel is a very primary tool which comes into data analyst or data into data analytics domain so i have just taken over the comparison between both the things power bi and excel and the last question which comes to my mind is uh, what all other tools are there into the market which is similar to power bi which we can use instead of power bi itself so i will be explaining all these questions in a detail so let's go ahead to another slide what is power bi and why we use power bi i will answer both these uh, concepts into coming to two three slides so suppose there is a company which is having sales data and i will be talk, talking about this sales data so, so there are suppose sales data which is happening with some company and by by watching this data what you understand uh, you are understanding if you are a data analytics person but if you are a business person it will be very difficult to visualize the data that how, what this data is telling what it is telling about the business so to come up with some visualization or what we may tell that what data is telling what the data is describing to deal up with this whole scenario data analytics person creates a visualization which is called a dashboard or reports into power bi or similar tools to power bi in which they develop the report and present it to the business person so it will some look something like this suppose this is a uh, i've just taken a screenshot from uh, power bi desktop that how this visualization looks so you can see here by seeing that data uh, which you which we saw into previous slide we can't describe something that uh, that may mean a lot to some business person but if you will describe this thing that uh, what what all uh, means this is this count of sales suppose this is sales and this is ct so based on this ct what all different in what all different cities what all sales are what many number sales are done so this is visible here into some pictorial format so it describes some data that uh, it, it is also basically a data but represents representation of data is somewhat different into uh, this so that we can uh, get some business insights we can withdraw some business insight if we talk on some uh, scenario so suppose we are having one scenario that if we want to organize a campaign for some particular product for that particular product if this is the uh, this this particular chart it is for that particular product so what we may see here is that in new york city this product is highly getting sailed so if suppose some campaign is getting organized so the digital marketing people means marketing people means business people business people will more likely to be focused on new york city first then he should invest his money in marketing into los angeles if they are investing money in marketing at suppose this uh, Slinton or somewhere else it is not worthful for them because these cities doesn't having that much sales so wherever it the sales coming from we should first prioritize them 
so this priority list can be built on top of this reporting itself only if we go to data and if we see then we can't withdraw this information which we are able to withdraw right now so this is very beautiful information which is getting taken out from this whole uh, scenario so similarly sales by year suppose uh, some some business people need that uh, how many number of sale as per uh, um, the year so in 2015 you can see that it was a bit more sales getting done in 2016 it was dropped by some uh, some percentage so we can apply that percentage filter where we can apply some tool tip it is known as tool tip we, on which if we put on the crusher it will show us it will show us that how by uh, by what percentage it declined this whole sales getting declined so it it is somewhat useful insight again in 2017 it is steeply steeply just growing up that sales is growing up so this is again a very beautiful inter information getting withdrawn out after that uh this is this is what basic use of power bi so we are dealing with uh, what is power bi and why we use power bi so this is the very basic question coming to anybody's mind so this is getting answered right now here after that few key takeaway points are there so this power bi bi is a microsoft bi tool now here one new term coming out to be is the business intelligence what is business intelligence so you have uh, saw that data so in that data actually we were not able to withdraw that much information but to withdraw information we come up with three stages in which we just organize our data in such a way that visualization people that means report building team can create that particular report basis on that data so that, that data need to be first whatever suppose duplicates are there into the data that is that of course will create a problem in uh, uh, visualizing that will create problem in uh, uh, just creating reports and all so that uh, that needs to be done uh, clean that is that step is basically known as cleaning so that cleaning needs to be miss basically you can just understand in a way that business intelligence is something which is a uh, just or, uh, 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 business intelligence is something which comes under organizing data if we organize data and then visualize data this is in a chunk known as business intelligence so if we go further so these three things are there which business intelligence people bi people come across day on day to day basis that is cleaning the data modeling the data visualizing the data these jargons these jargons you might see it it might seems to you that it is uh, something which is very um, uh, uh, very unclear to you but i am confirming you I, in coming slides i will be uh, explaining all these three uh, things cleaning what is what what is this clean clean what is this model and then what is this visualize i will be coming across all these three this uh, uh, power bi is commonly called as commonly many uh, many people just know by its name called visualization tool this is visualization tool so these are the three key takeaway points you can uh, just withdraw from this uh, this informative slide after that i am coming to the now i will be explaining what is cleaning what is this modeling and then what is visualizing so cleaning here you can see that there is some there is a data i have attached here so in this data by seeing uh, around this data there are two things i'm right now uh, extracting out first one that these two values are duplicates similarly here you can see that any not available this data is not available here so first you need to do what before reporting this data whole data you need to re create report on the, on top of this data so you you need to first remove these duplicates that means you need to take one uh, row and um, just drop the second row we need to write down some logic against it so this process is basically cleaning of data second one that na it is here so this na will create problem in creating report if it will create report also that will be no sense to us that will create no sense to us so again this na need to be replaced with some value either we can keep average value or either we can keep at zero that here zero sales has been null 
here uh, uh, cost price is zero something like that you um, as per business requirement you can go move ahead and replace with it any any with some value so these all steps are involved in cleaning of data another so this is that data modeling which we talked about that data modeling of data so modeling of data what it is so suppose you you are having some data coming into your power bi in this format this is a table in which there are three fields date country id and then units this is country id this is country id what you are withdrawing from this thing what information you are you drawing this this country id is having sales of this many number of units right but you are not able to withdraw that information that what this one represent which country does it represent is it usa is it india or what so for that we are taking out some other table that is coming out from some other data source in which we are having this id written over there against which country name is written over there now what what you see that we can withdraw with, withdraw this table with its name this country id with its name so when we basically merge this table and this table basis of this country id and this id then we will withdraw some useful table which we can represent on data visualization tool that table we what we can uh, uh, just get that table what we can get is this one this country id here it is written over there date all information from this table whatever information it is here it is it is included in this table also the final table also in which we have included country id and then against this country id this country is written now we this is very very uh, this whole table getting uh, very beautiful right now that we are having now country name and then units on which date it has been sold so this is somewhat useful information suppose right now if we will create some graph and here we will write this is suppose country column and this is at this axis sales will be taken so suppose in usa 40 40 sales was done again in usa on some other date some other unit means suppose 65 so so like this it can be visualized now now moving ahead data visualization so i think you guys have understood that uh, what is data visualization uh, so basically whatever data we took out from data modeling and after cleaning the final stage will come that will be of data visualization so similarly we can create multiple graphs in power bi we are having multiple scopes of taking graph now we have we have varieties of graphs and we have varieties of charts which we can uh, use to represent it uh, the data uh, very well so that that again a, a very beautiful feature of power bi moving ahead we are having very exciting question question coming to my, our mind that is benefit of power bi over excel since excel is a very basic technology into or technology we may tell or we may tell tool which is a microsoft tool which is very basic in data analytics so in data analytics we are having these four so we are taking here the comparison between power bi over excel so um, uh, where this excel lags so that because in excel also we are having uh, uh, data visualization capability excel can also visualize data but why we don't we, why we don't use this visualization into excel itself why we use power bi instead so there are multiple reasons of that first one is amount of data the amount of data which power bi handles is very 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 high very very high but in excel we can't visualize that many number of data we can't even fetch into excel that many number of rows as compared to power bi number of data sources suppose we if in, in excel we are able to connect with five multiple sources so in power bi the varieties of data sources are very uh, very uh, large in number we can connect it with various data sources this is again a, a good feature of our power bi after that processing speed processing speed is tremendously fast in power bi instead of excel visualization whatever visualization we have seen 
previous slides so uh, visualization is so uh, very much interactive in power bi we can't interact in excel whatever we, we visualize data whatever we create charts and graphs we can't interact with those charts we can't interact with those graphs but in this power bi we can interact with those graphs how interaction goes on in coming tutorials we will definitely see that how this uh, interaction goes on so coming to the next question that is what else like power bi there are multiple other uh, softwares which are used in market for reporting so first one is uh, ssrs why i have kept uh, uh, kept this particular tool on top because uh, on on first because this is also a reporting tool which is for, by microsoft and power bi is also a reporting tool which is by microsoft then why if it was pre existing this ssrs was pre existing into the market then why microsoft introduced a new tool called power bi this is because in ssrs the ui the graphs and the charts whatever it is there it is very much outdated it is not that much updated it is very difficult to use as this these are only these can uh, this ssrs can only be used with by uh, any professionals only not by uh, layman users so on second uh, uh, number it is tableau tableau it is there so tableau is a tool by google which is also a very good reporting tool but there are few uh, limitations of, on in tableau as well first one it is very difficult to use and the second one it is very costly it is more costly than power bi power bi i guess it is 10 dollar per month per user right now what the costing it is but for tableau it is much more than that now another competitor or another tool for reporting uh, uh, that is click view it is also a uh, widely used but uh, uh, power bi is more widely used than click view right now as per market Uh, so in click view it why it is not that much used that because there are few limitations first limitation it is very difficult to use another one it is very um, uh, this data source integration is very difficult because it is not it is not having any uh, native data sources like in power bi it is uh, sql it is excel it is csv every every data sources which is native into for microsoft it is not for click view click view uses api to interact with the data that means whatever data getting uh, integrated it is integrated with api so you the developers should have knowledge of api the, uh, so it is uh, a bit difficult to use and it is uh, of course most costly than uh, more costly than this power bi another tool coming to the list is alteryx alteryx is also a very good tool only drawback of alteryx is cost it is more costly than power bi so that's all for this video hope you enjoyed a lot and uh, hope you have uh, this uh, this video you found in uh, more in uh, info hope this video is uh, for me. hope this hope you find found this video more informative if you found it informative please hit, hit a like button to support us and uh, uh, please do mention comment if uh, if you feel that there is some uh, thing need to be improved or if suppose something uh, need to be more um, um, added into the video i will definitely try to cover those all in some q and a session i will uh, set up and i will definitely cover those all so yeah that's all uh, uh, keep keep liking keep supporting thank you so much for watching the video thanks again